guys, so I wanted to do a video today on like an ICU beginner's guide for you guys. A lot of you ask me like what can I do to prepare for ICU clinicals or I'm a new grad going into the ICU or your experience going into the ICU. So I've created a comprehensive ICU guide for you and I actually put it on a PDF for you guys to download so that way you can use it to study. Now it's just a basic outline of things. I didn't include like a bunch of information because I want you to use it to study so that way you remember the information. If I just gave it all to you then some of you may learn from that, some of you may just not learn as well as you would if you went through and filled out the information yourself. So um, just to cover some of the basics that I put on the ICU beginner's guide, uh, the first thing are learning your ABGs and knowing what the values mean and how that relates to you know, what your patient's gonna look like, certain diagnoses that you'd see certain ABGs on. The next thing I talk about on the PDF are just some basic ventilator settings and modes. So there's a bunch of different modes on the ventilator like your assist control, your pressure control, um, APRV, CPAP, SIMV, but then in each of those ventilator modes you have different settings. So learning like what is FiO2, what is PEEP, what is your tidal volume, minute volume, respiratory rate, all those different things. So that is on the PDF as well for you to go through. And then the next thing are your ICU drips or some of them are cardiac drips, some of them are not cardiac drips, but like your pressors, your meds to keep your blood pressure down, the ones to help with contractility, um, bicarb drip, insulin drip, there's a bunch of different drips on there and these are the common ones that I've seen. Obviously every ICU is going to be slightly different and maybe uses one over another. But um, so that we can go through and learn these drips and not so much like how to titrate them, but what are they for? Like the basics of what are they for? Are they increasing your heart rate and your blood pressure because they're binding with this certain re receptor or, you know, they're an ag or antagonist against this receptor. So kind of learning just the basics with those drips. And then the last thing on this study guide is to go over your ACLS. So all of your EKG rhythms, especially the ones that are lethal or where you're going to see patients become symptomatic, and learning the interventions and meds for those. Are you going to just do CPR and epi? Are you going to shock and do CPR and epi? Are you going to do atropine? When would you give like magnesium in a rhythm or amiodarone or things like that? So go through your basic ACLS. So this is just, again, a very basic, simple study guide of information that I find is helpful for students or new nurses to the ICU because it gives you just the basic information for you to learn and gives you a little more information coming into the ICU than like just getting there and having to learn all of it. So I hope it's helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you download it and what you think of it and if you've used it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.